Hi, this is uh, lesson three of unit one. Let's review where we've been so far. So we've talked about models, and they're ways that God has given us to make sense of the world that we live in. But it's important to remember that a model is never the same thing as reality. Um, they're just a way of thinking about the world. And so one model that we, we learned about for um, arithmetic expressions is the circles of evaluation. And that had two rules. That each circle should have one function, which goes at the top of the circle, and that numbers are written below in order from left to right. So here's a little bit of practice. Let's go ahead and do that. And this is the matching practice. So in on a piece of paper or in your video notebook, just match the number, so the expression over here, with the uh, circle of evaluation over here. And just write the number and the letter so you don't have to copy those. So pause for a second and do that. Okay. Uh, now on your desktop, you have an icon for Dr. Racket. Go ahead and start that. And then once that comes up, uh, watch this video in your uh, video notebook in week one under part C. You'll see a link. You can click on that and that should bring up a video for you to watch. So pause this video and click that link and watch this video. Okay, so um, you'll see in Dr. Racket, and you saw in that video, that um, the screen has uh, a, a couple of different parts. And um, this is a lot like the idle um, program that we used over the summer. Um, you can write Racket code up here, and it puts it into the correct color, um, just like our, co our uh, idle from this summer. Okay, and then down here, just like an idle, uh, when you, you can execute things, and uh, it will do do something. So we'll we'll talk about what this does. But we'll talk. So the the definitions area is what they call this top part, and the interaction area is what they call this bottom part. So a program is a legal expression that when evaluated produces a value. So that's a lot like what we talked about the math functions are, right? Um, that, that they evaluate, get evaluated and produce a value. So um, ever since you learned how to add, you've done this type of program where you have a mathematical expression, you evaluate it, you produce a value. So there are sets of rules to determine whether a sentence makes sense. There's also a set of programming rules that determine whether a program makes sense. So the simplest program is just numbers. So uh, I'm going to demonstrate and then you can pause. So the, remember the code rule one was all values are legal expressions. So a number is a legal expression and what this um, interactive area does is just it gives me the expression back. Because I didn't tell it to do anything, right? I didn't add anything. I just said five. And so it told me back five, but that it, because that's a legal expression. If it was not a legal expression, like dog, it would give me some kind of error. And it clearly shows what the errors look like. And you, you've seen a lot of errors in Python. I think you'll see in Racket, and that's one reason I chose it, is that the expressions make a lot more sense for beginners. And that they actually spend a lot of time making sure that they have good expressions for beginning students. So um, pause the video and take some time to just type things in there, type in numbers, type in uh, whatever you want, and see how that, what, what happens in Dr. Racket when you type things into this bottom area. Okay, so we looked at, we looked at this. What happens if, if it typed in something that um, the computer didn't know about? Um, and I even typed in dog and just got a message saying, hey, I don't know what dog is. Right? This variable is not defined. So um, 
yeah, this, this program gives a lot of good error messages, so make sure you read the error message, like in this case, the part in red, dog colon. This variable is not defined. That's going to help you understand um, exactly the type of mistake that you made. So now, we'll bring together the couple of things that we've been working on. Circuits of evaluation are easy to convert into computer programs. To translate a circle of evaluation into a program, begin with an open parenthesis. So, you know, we have the circle um, as we've been drawing, and now we just, you know, the, the, the kind of the most part of a circle we can type on our computer um, is a paren. So, you know, if we look at open and close paren, that, that, you know, that's the parts, little parts of a circle. So we're going to kind of use that to show which circle we're in. So code rule two is, each open parentheses is followed by one function, then by one or more legal expressions, and finally by a closing parentheses. So here's the code for this circle of evaluation. So in this circle of evaluation, we have the, the operation, the function on top, and then we go from left to right. So this circle turns into paren, because that's what we're kind of using for a circle, a minus, because that's what's at top, and then the 4 and the 5, because that's what order they're in. So let's see what happens when we do that. Paren, minus is our operation. 4 was our first number, and 5 was our second number. Close paren, and you'll see um, a couple of things about the, um, about the doctor racket. So let me show that again. I'm going to I just typed the one open paren, and it automatically typed the second one coming for me because it knows it's coming. I did minus for the operation, 4 for the first number, 5 for the second number, and then I can either use my arrow key and go over to the right, or I can type another paren. Either way, uh, it, it, it shows me when I get to the other side of this paren, so now I'm here, and then I'm going to go to the right, it says, Hey, here's this parens um, match. So this is a closing paren, and here's the opening one. Because in this language, we're going to have a lot of parens, and this is going to be really helpful for it to automatically put in the parens and to show me those matches. All right, so now I'm at the end of the line. I can type enter. And it evaluates the expression minus 4, 5 to negative 1. And that's what we expect for the circle of evaluation. So go ahead, and on yours, go ahead and do this same expression, and then do whatever other expressions you want. Okay. You can now, we can have more complicated expressions, and we just use more parentheses. So here is the circle of evaluation that has plus 4 or 5 on the inside, and um, times 6, and uh, times that on the outside. So let's look at that. So you can actually do it either way. You can you can do the, the, the inside one first and then go back. So we can do plus 4, 5. So that's the inside. Then we can come back and do paren. Let's say that if that automatically put that in, so I'm going to erase that. Star 6. Right, so there's the different parts. Now I have to bring that paren down here. Once I get all those parts in, I get 54. Or, once you get more used to it, let's look at this again. So, the outer one is going to be times 6 and something. So, let's make an outer one and say times 6 and something. We don't know what it is yet, so let's go back and look. All right, now it's going to be a circle of evaluation for plus 4 and 5. So, circle plus four, five. So my expression looks the same, but I got to start it from the left-hand side, from the outside going in. So that's how you can think of it. You can think of, you know, a monster or Pac-Man coming in from the outside. You always got to cross through. So when we cross through the, the uh, circle, we got to write a paren, and then we eat the operation. So we got to type it down, and then we eat whatever number or circle is on the left. So we type it in, and then we're going to eat whatever number of circles on the right. Well, we've got to start 
with a we chomp through that circle, so we've got to write another paren, and we'll eat the operation, and then we go from left to right, and then we have to close both circles and get the same thing. So now you enter that same code and also um, play with um, any other circles of evaluation you drew or that you used in um, the first uh, practice example from this session um, and type those in. So pause here and do that. Okay, so we've, we've said this, but now let's go ahead and see what these things are called. So all of the expressions that follow the function name are called arguments of the function. Now, if you remember that from our class this summer or not, but the, they're called arguments to the function. So this diagram shows what it looks like. So the name is going to be whatever that net operation is right after the paren. So in this case, the case, that name is the symbol plus. Then come the arguments for plus. And plus can take as many arguments as we want. It has to have at least one, at least two, right, to add two things together. But you can add 50 things together if you want. And they are just arguments that are going to come after the plus. And then a closing paren to say we're done. So for practice, turn to page 5 in your workbook. So go ahead and open page 5. And then on that page, for each of the expressions there, draw the circle of evaluation, and then write the racket code. So the paren version of that. So that's on page 5 of your notebook. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 examples there to do the circle of evaluation and the racket code. So go ahead and pause and do that now. Okay, so let's look at what happens when um, expressions don't follow the rules. So like we saw when I put dog in a little while ago, um, they'll give me an error message that tells me more about what the problem is. So I know that you like to learn using errors you know when you play games and so that's a great way to learn here is don't be scared just try whatever and it'll tell you what the problem is so here's some good examples to try so they they, they gave you here some um, clearly wrong examples and they tell you what's wrong with it and once you type in each of these and you can see what kind of um, what kind of error you get when you type these in. So go ahead and try and type in each of these, pause and type in each of these uh, to Dr. Racket and see what kind of error you get just from typing in of the, the expression part. Don't type in this part. Just type in the, the paren part with the expression and see what error you get. Okay, that's it for um, this week. You did a lot in this first unit. You took um, the game apart, right? So you reverse engineered a game and analyzed it to see how the parts worked. You started designing your own game that we're going to work on coding for the next few weeks. Um, you learned about the coordinate system and how you can use that coordinate system as a model of the screen to put characters that we're going to use to put characters on the screen. You learned about order of operations and circles of evaluation and how to turn those circles of evaluation into programs and type those into Dr. Racket. So in the next unit, we'll begin uh, writing programs that are more interesting than just arithmetic. So we'll actually start putting some um, images and things on the screen next week.